Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, so, here's what I did. I started filming an episode a second ago. And, uh, I was trying a few different quests. Uh, and then every quest I tried was too hard for me to complete. So the quest that I tried was a couple thieving quests, where, which had hard lock trunks in them. We couldn't open the hard lock trunks without breaking lock picks. And then we started a quest for the, uh, the lady of the castle here, where she wanted some objects for a wedding. And, um, realized that one of the objects she wanted, we don't even know where the little town's at yet. So we couldn't do that one. So I decided just to cut that out completely. And, uh, and we're just going to ride down here to, um, to this little village down here and go ahead and find this guy named Timmy. Which is another one of the bandits that raided, uh, what was the town's name? One of the bandits that raided, uh, Neuhoff. We've got to talk to him. So let's go ahead and do that. And what I'll do is I will save... I will save the uh, lady's quest. And then when we get ready to start that quest again... I'll just use that and that way you can you won't miss anything. You won't miss me walking up to her and talking to her about it. So... I think that's the best thing to do. Otherwise, uh, the last the episode I was recording was just all over the place and really hard to follow. So I decided just to junk the whole thing. So we're just going to ride up here real quick and talk to Timmy. Let's go ahead and uh, find the shrine. There we go. Let's see what Timmy's got to say. Hopefully, he knows something about the um, about the raid. And, and uh, we have to warn him as well because I believe he's probably in danger. We're all riding the right way, correct? Yeah, we are. We're just riding slow up this little trail here. Something else I'd like to do now that we've unlocked some of the land and areas around uh, Rote is maybe look for some of these these maps and see if we can find some of the hidden treasure around. We might actually get something really nice. We probably need to go ahead and take all those maps with us and look at all of them and then uh, just kind of remember the general areas and while we're out about on our travels. We'll see if we can find some stuff. Alright, so should be this place right here, I think. Discovered another shrine. There's shrines everywhere. Yep, here it is. We discovered the windmill. You want to learn about the windmill? Windmills became prevalent in Europe between the 11th and 14th centuries. The most suitable environment for their construction was to be found in the foothills of mountains because it's windy. On plains and in coastal landscapes where strong air current currents abounded. They were generally wooden post mills standing on a characteristic conical trestle log, log base. They would be rotate they would yeah, they would be rotate around the central stake to face into the wind. As a rule, the mill had four vanes, cell set in a rectangular cross mounted on the front wall of the building, as the wind lent into them, they would turn to move a wooden gearing and transfer the torque to the millstones located on the first floor. The disadvantage of windmills was their frequent need for repair and maintenance, and they were often struck by lightning, which, when operating, they vibrated intensely, making working in them neither pleasant nor safe. <coughs> Pretty cool, though. That actually made it to where it would turn. That's neat. I didn't know that. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Because generally the wind will come from different directions depending on the seasons. So that's uh, that's interesting. I'm going to go check this out real fast and just kind of look. Yeah, look at that. How fascinating. Can we actually go inside of it? We can. Oh, neat. So noisy. That's really cool. They've done a really good job uh, reconstructing some of this stuff. We have wooden gears, yep, wooden gears. And I guess there's the millstones down there. There's a hammer. How about that? That's pretty... Dang, there's another... Even a loft up here. With some stuff, nothing really... Nothing really that interesting. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of check it out. Very fascinating. All right, so who's this? This is another. This is another Miller. I wonder if this guy can teach me about pickpocketing. He's My not, respects to you. He's not named though, so 
I'm looking for Timmy. Do you know Timmy? He's a big man and, um... A complete numbskull? Aye, he works here. Or he used to, I'm not sure. He vanished a few days ago. Far as I know, no one's seen him since. But try asking his sister, Mirka. She works here too. Okay. I'll do that. Is there a uh, an actual... That must be Mirka. Yeah, we'll go ahead and talk to her. Is there an actual miller that works here that I can speak to that's named that might could actually help me out? Okay. Those are all locked. What about you? You're just a villager. Hmm. Mirka. I'm looking for your brother. I'm looking for a colossus by the name a of... A colossus. Tim. I heard he works here. I don't know anyone like that. Oh, don't lie. Someone wants to kill him. Uh, but the others know him. Hmm. Yeah, someone wants to kill him is a pretty good thing, I think. Listen, someone wants to kill him. I have to warn him. My God. So it's true, then. That idiot's got himself mixed up in something dangerous again. All right, but not here. We'll talk round the back, behind the mill. Around back behind the mill, you say? Mm, all right. Is that where you talk to all your manly callers, behind the mill? Hello, puppy. Calm down. Well, if those aren't tripping hazards, I don't know what is. I guess this... I guess this thing is what they used to use to actually rotate it. Alright, let's talk. Here I am. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? He's my brother. He's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no-good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. And they said some strange things. But I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. He's hiding at the Colburn farm, over by Merhoyed. <sighs> oh. Uh-oh. This is not good, and there's four of them, which means I can't fight them. What's happening here? I get the feeling you're looking for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Maybe we could help each other. Who are you looking for? Hmm. And who are you looking for? A great big ox by the name of Timmy. Hmm. I don't know anything. I'm afraid I don't know anything about him. That's a shame. A crying shame. I take good care of people who help me. Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. Hmm. He's in Rate. I could say that. Uh, yeah, I think so. I hear he's hiding in Ratai. Oh, yeah? Where in Ratai? He's at the butcher's. They're his kin. Well, excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye on you. For your own protection. Oh, that's fine. Know. I'll just kill him. Come with us if you've got the stomach for it. If not, come and find us in the Samapesh Tavern when it's all over. Or we'll find you. Come on, boys! Okay. I'll go find him. Now, see... 
the only problem with that is, I think, is, uh, who are you? Do you have to keep buzzing around like a shit fly? Yep, so you're probably gonna die here pretty soon. Uh, if you're planning on just following me around like that, because you're gonna just get on my nerves. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go... He's over here at the farm. We're gonna ride over there. So we're playing the good guy. We're not gonna get involved in a lot of this stuff. Well, since you don't have a horse, you're gonna have a hard time following me, so... Later. Uh, we're gonna be in the thick of it here, like quite literally. There we go. I'm coming, Timmy! Come on, Elmer, make haste! Yeah, have good luck following me now, sucker. <laughs> well, we tried jumping over that fence. It didn't work out too well, did it? Hey, we found uh, a new place, and this new place, Mer Merihold, a small village near Semipesh, which was the property of the Sassau Monastery in the 15th century. The stone man is an unusual standing stone composed of red sandstone with a carving of a warrior with a spear. It is located at the crossroads in the Sassau region between Merihold and the field track to Townburg. According to an unsubstantiated theory, the steel was brought here from Sassau Monastery when it was reconstructed in the 14th century. The identities of the author of the relief carving and the man depicted remain a mystery. The stone man may have been a Slavic warrior or Saint Longinus with the Holy Lance. His name is derived from the Greek word for lance, who according to the New Testament used it to pierce the sight of Jesus on the cross. Interesting. Budin Mill. In the Middle Ages, Budin Mill was a supplier of local villages and small towns. In the 17th century, it was part of Mary... Maryhold, I, I assume that's how you pronounce that, I'm not sure, becoming the property of Jan Budinski in, seven, in 1678, from whom it takes its name. And I know they just, like, the guy literally just said the town name not too long ago, but... Uh, obviously, I didn't listen well enough, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I don't see him back there anywhere. I'd like to see the stone they speak of. Another shrine. Consolation cross. Alright. Tis I. Is that Timmy speaking? Is it a big burly man? No, not really. So what are you, who are, what are you doing? You just gonna sit down there and talk on the road? I guess I can't actually talk to you. I hear a blacksmith somewhere. Shut up. Oh, that's a private area. Okay, I guess he's gonna be back down this way somewhere then. Can't get through there. Let's ask her. Maybe she knows where he's at. What are you growing here? Can't talk to her either. What was that? Ah, uh, you look like a fairly large fellow. And I can't talk to you what either. The hell? I don't understand why I can't talk to anyone in this little village. There's a grocer here. I am in the right place, right? I assume I am. Oh yeah, he's on down here a little ways. Not quite close enough yet. Another consolation cross. And another one right there. Or a shrine, anyway. Ah, oh, who are you, sir? A good man. What? Let's see what his guy has to say. May I have your attention for a moment? You may. Wow, you have a nice set of armor. 
What is it? I'd like to challenge you to a duel, sir. A little amicable combat. Uh... Why should we fight? Why would I want to fight you? An honorem, friend. For honor. For the thrill of combat. That makes sense, but I, I can't... Sorry, but I won't risk getting crippled on account of some tavern yarn. I understand. Then I was mistaken about you. My apologies for troubling you. Uh, I would fight this guy, except that... Did I just, like... I guess I can't go back to him now. That's great. Um, look at him. I mean, he's probably... For sure gonna win. Maybe we'll meet him again at some point. Hopefully. I would like to fight him, but just not right now. I don't think that uh, I'd be able to best him, to be honest. He would just kill me, and then uh, I'd have to ride all the way back here again, probably. Timmy! Found you! Hey, Timmy. How are you today? I'm alright. Uh, have we met? We have now. Huh? Oh, shit. W what do you want? I it wasn't me. I, I didn't... I mean... Shit. About the Neuhoff massacre. I saw what you did at Neuhoff. What are you talking about? You weren't there. I, I mean, <laughs> I wasn't there. Don't waste your breath. You were there with Limpy Lubosch and Riki. I heard all about it. What do you want from me? Your mate Hinek told me about a whole camp full of those whore sons. And I want to find it. I need to find it. Yeah, but... But why should I trust you, though? I'm not stupid. You might be one of them. Pretending to not be one of them. Trying to catch me out. I won't tell you nothing. Okay. Why would I be trying to catch you out? Why would I be trying to catch you out? For Christ's sake, man, they crucified Limpy Lubosh and Ujits. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Shit, 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 <laughs> shit, shit. What will I do? Well, shit. I don't know where their camp is. That's a load of horse shit. Hinek told me you were there and that Pius warned you to keep your mouth shut. You must know something. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only... I was pretty drunk, so I'm not too sure. Try to remember. I'm not surprised. It was in the woods. In some kind of woods. You know, with uh, trees and stuff. Generally that's in woods, yes. There were some wrecked houses there and all. In the woods. A, a church! There was a church there. Kind of a broken one, though. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now it's all clear to me. Hmm. Do you remember which way you went? It was straight north from Talmberg. When you go uphill from the castle, there's a path there round some barns, I think. It leads to the woodcutter's camp. If you go further on past the woodcutters, you come across this abandoned house. Can't miss it. Looks like a house. Only abandoned. Ah. Go to the left there, and carry on till you come to this clearing, with a big beech tree. Or was it an oak? Uh, you go left there again, there's this narrow path, and you go straight along there. Sometimes it splits up. You just keep to the left, until you come to a crossroads, by this big flat rock. You keep straight on there. After a while, Lord, you see dude. a bridge. And it's right there. Easy as you please. Better than nothing, I suppose. But you won't tell nobody about Neuhoff, right? You promised. Oh, no, bugger. I meant to make you promise, but I forgot. <laughs> I won't tell. No, don't worry. But in future, find some other way to make money. Like honest work? Thanks. I'll, I'll try. On account of my sister, at least. That yeah. girl at the windmill? Hi, Mirka. Did you talk to her? 
What did she say? She told me you're as thick as a fence post and always getting dragged into some mischief. Did she? Yeah. She's probably right. Alright, well, we found that out. Um, so I want to look at something real fast while we're here. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Where's my map at? Ancient map. I want to... I want to read this and just see if I can, because I don't remember exactly where this was. So it's New Neuhof. Okay, so it's down below Neuhof. All right. So remember, next time we go to Neuhof, we need to go see if we can find this map. We've got to ride down to uh, to meet Sir Radzik, which I think is all the way back down in Rite. So we may actually go through through Neuhof. Um, where are we at now? Okay, we're right here. No, not. It's a little bit out of the way, because where we need to go is probably going to be right up in here somewhere, I think. It's not far from Rote, though. Actually, we may not be going to Rote. Sir Radzik's here. He must be. Fascinating. Let's ride up here until we see him. I don't know why he would be no. here, though. Kind of weird that unless he's just following me around. Wow, there's a whole camp here now. All right, well, let's go. Uh, let's go talk to him. I guess he's gonna be set up in one of these tents. There he is. I really need to uh, to get some better armor. Wake what up! What do you need? The bandits in camping. I've been to Uzitz and the parish priest there is odd. I have news about the investigation. I've been to Uzitz and the parish priest there is odd. Sir, I've been to Uzitz and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin. Aye, an intriguing fellow. He's the youngest son of one of the lords of Kuttenberg. He was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. And then one day he came back and settled down. Hanush would know more about him. Yeah, I just kind of was curious what he'd say about it. I have news about the investigation. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. Uh... Hmm. This must have been something we could tell him earlier. We're just going the to trail leads to Ujits. I found out one of the bandits is from there. A fellow they call Limpy Lubos. I see. What else? The bandit in Ujits has been killed. I went to Ujits where they told me I could find Lubos. Only someone had murdered him. It seems they're trying to cover their tracks and get rid of witnesses. Indeed. The whole affair is becoming ever more suspicious. Have you any further clues? I found out about another one of them, a crony of Limpy Lubosh's. They call him Riki, and he comes from Ledechko. You're doing a good job, but you need to be careful. Have you found this Riki fellow? Uh, I did. Run is behind it. I'm afraid my news isn't good, sir. Hmm. I might have expected as much. Tell me the worst. This Riki fellow was hiding out in the woods, and his former accomplices really did want to kill him, because he, Limpy Lubosch, and others deserted them in Neuhof. It seems they wanted no part in the killing. Anyway, Riki told me they were hired by a bandit they call Runt. He's the one who stole your sword. Those murdering whore sons weren't after loot. They just wanted to do damage. And the worst thing is, they have an encampment in the area, and they're getting ready to make more trouble. Sakra. Anything else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. The bandits encampment. About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I know where it is. I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. He's called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Talmberg. Good work, lad. 
Have you been to check it out? Do you know how many of them there are? I don't know much apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. I'll try. Certainly, sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. Alright, so I guess we're going to ride out there real fast. Come on, Elmer. There you are. No, nope, you're not, Elmer. Here you are. I apologize. I ride back to Telmberg, which is uh, not too far away. Okay, up here. Good. It's not far away at all. And uh, hopefully... Yeah. You know what? Real quick, I want to see something before we go. We can actually use these grindstones to sharpen our swords and maintain our weapons, and I just want to see if I can actually use it on Paige's sword. Uh, let's see, read, just make sure we're doing it right here. If you want to maintain bladed weapons, you can save your repair kit and hone it yourself from a grindstone, which you can find at every smithy. Just approach the grindstone, start process E, and select from the list of weapon you want to hone. The weapon must be honed along the whole length of the blade. You select which part using that. Grindstone, if the angle is too shallow, the edge won't be sharpened. If it's too steep, you can dull the blade. You control the angle using that. You have to keep the grindstone turning in space. I wonder how exactly I know if I'm doing it the right way or not. Oh, I see. So you can see where it's kind of uh, messed, the sword is kind of messed up in certain spots. One little spot right here, it looks like. I think that's pretty much it. Nice and sharp. That's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, let's ride on down here to Townburg and see if we can scout this camp out. I don't think it'll be too long of a ride. I would just skip ahead, but I mean to be honest, it's this it's pretty fun just to ride around in in, in this game here. Everything looks so nice. Let's ride through the woods, I think. Make a little shortcut. Maybe we'll find something. Uh, while we're riding around, there's like a little trail here actually. I want some deer. Thick woods. Wow, and it just goes straight downhill as well. We see anything. There's a interesting spot down there. It's like a little bear spot. Kind of strange. Oh, geez, there's somebody hanging here. An accident? I wouldn't think this is an accident. He's been there for a little while. Huh. Well, I guess, uh... I guess you can just hang around here then. We'll continue on. And I believe their camp. Uh, if I can get up the creek, is going to be right in these woods up here.
possibly. If I can get through all the little bushes. Alright, here's a path. Let's see where this leads. Some wild boars. All right, I wonder if this is the camp that that guy was talking about. Okay, yeah, we're here. So let's let's get off the horse and kind of scout around a little bit. We gotta be careful. We don't want to get. We don't really want to be seen. Although I, right now I don't even see anyone. Here's someone. There's somebody saw one. Oh, okay, I see. We're actually following the trail that, uh, what's-his-face is telling us about. I was thinking, like, I was like, this don't look much like a bandit camp. Come on, Elmer, come on up here. Come on, you can figure it out. Show me those 4 by 4 skills. Come on. No? All right, I'll come to you then. So now we go to the fork in the road. I guess we're going that way. Where are we going? Oh geez, it doesn't say. That's probably where we're supposed to go right there, I bet. That looks like an abandoned village, although it could be up here somewhere. Uh, well, if that's the case, then we'll probably need to be going up this way, right? I guess. Okay, you go to the fort with the ruined cabin. All right, now where? Go straight ahead to the next fork by clearing with a big beech tree. Can we get in this cabin? Because I want to check and see if there's anything in here real fast. It doesn't really look like they left anything behind. Some clothes laying there. Nah, we can't even get into it. That's unfortunate. And I was hoping there was something hiding in there that we might could use. Alright, so we go straight ahead to a big tree. A beech or an oak tree. And I guess there'll be a fork there as well. Oh, here we go. Okay, take the left and continue the path to the next fork. Doesn't seem like it's going to be that long of a ride, so that's the good thing about it. Another interesting site. What kind of interesting site did we find this time? I don't see anything. Actually, there's something on top of that post. What is that? Who's hollering? I heard somebody yelling, but I don't know where they was coming from. 
All right, let's find the next fork in the road. It should be right here, it looks like. Nope. A little further out. Hello, sir. Where is this fork in the road? There it is. Alright. Let's see what the next direction is. Take a left and carry on to the junction. Now what? Carry on straight at the crossroads all the way to the camp. Okay, so the camp's going to be straight ahead then. And we'll have to bail out when we see yeah. it so we don't surprise anyone. Yeah. Man, this place is deep, deep in the woods, isn't it? Wouldn't surprise me if he didn't like run right up on it. Yep, there we go. Pre Slavitz. All right, we're just gonna leave the horse here and kind of scope the area out. Right, we've got one guy right there. Sabotage the bandits before the battle we get. How do I sabotage the bandits? Can poison their food you can set fire to their arrows I don't know how to do either of that um, well let's sneak around to the woods here I wonder if we wait till night would it be easier to to sabotage them the moat it would take a while to get across, and there's nowhere to shelter from arrows. Yeah, we're just gonna kinda... So this place is pretty old then. It looks like it's been here for quite a while. We can get across right here, I think. Let's not fall back down in the moat. It's kind of a cool little era the uh, area. See anyone anywhere? There's a bridge. It's actually a pretty good sized place at one time. Oh, they've got a dog too. Probably in like the worst position to actually be scouting around. I wonder if would they care if I was here? They probably would. Shoot, there's another one. Hey, it's 
Oh, I think he saw me. Try to get back here where we can actually kind of hide a little bit. Can't get none of these old buildings. Where'd this guy go, I wonder? Okay, let's head up. They got torches. Like I think they see me, but I don't think they're like they don't really care that I'm here. Stockade. Right a handful of men could hold it for quite a while. Okay, so we've looked around the camp. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out how to actually sabotage it. Okay, let's look at this skill perk real fast. Because we definitely need to worry about... Or we definitely need to, um... Get the stealth stuff, uh... Worked up. Improved upon. Show more. Yep. Uh... Alright, here we go. Take down... I don't see a pickpocket thing, which is kind of unfortunate. Let you knock people out from a crouching position. After committing a crime, you get a plus one bonus on strength and vitality until you're caught. You move almost silently in the rain. The noise of your footsteps is reduced by 70%. That actually might work out quite well. Let's learn that one. I was hoping there was a pickpocket one there, but there's not. All right, let's uh, go up here a little bit. So they've got arrows somewhere. And I would like to find out where them arrows are at. And then how to set them on fire. I'd imagine I could set them on fire with a torch. Maybe. I know one thing, whenever we clear these bandits out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right to this camp and like really look real good around it because it's pretty neat. I know it's getting probably pretty dark here. Uh, I do apologize for that. Oh, come on, get to there. Okay, now we're... We're gonna use, uh... If I have any, let's see. Do I have any Savior Snops? Uh, it doesn't look like I do. Nope. It'd be nice if I did, because that would we could go ahead and save the game here if I did, but... Let's see, maybe there'll be one in this chest. It's locked hard. I wonder if anybody would hear me if I tried to unlock it from here. Let's try. This lock is too difficult. Do we have any perks on uh, on the uh, lock picking? No, we do not. That's unfortunate as well. Yeah, you gotta be careful, cause he'll see us. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna wait until night. Until they go to sleep. And I... Oh! Well, that helps out quite a bit, actually. Let's wait until they go to sleep. We'll wait until about... Midnight. And then we're going to run there and we're going to poison their food. Hopefully they'll all be asleep and they won't have anybody on patrol. Oh, 
Oh shoot, there's still one walking around there. Dang it. What's he doing? I'm afraid to really get... Yeah, there are all, a couple of them still walking around down there. Gosh, where's their food at? If I could... Oh, don't start talking, Henry. Look at that. Those heathens are a lot tidier than the bandits. There's their arrows. Nettle. All right, now's our chance. Enjoy your meal. All right, let's get out of here. I probably should have eaten that pot first, but that's fine. Okay, it's pretty dang dark, and uh, can't really see much, so I have to get out here and grab a torch. It's probably the smartest idea, but. Oh crap! Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Somebody sees me. That's okay though. How did he see me? Oh crap, now I can't see. Oh, it's- oh, cr oh shoot. It's so dark. Oh, there's one. We're running right into the- right into him here. Alright. Alright, let's go. I can't hardly see anything, but we're going. That's okay, we, we did what we came to do. And that's the main thing. Now we just gotta get out of here. I can barely see the trail, so... That's really all I need to do to get out. I'm so hungry, I'm tired. I ran into a tree. I think they're still chasing me here. Okay, we, we got away. Awesome. That was close. Alright, let's ride back to um, Sir Radzik. Which is going to be all the way over here. Going to be a pretty long ride, but that's, that's okay. We could ride to Townburg and rest it up there. Uh, it's a little closer. Let's do that. I can eat from the kitchen in Townburg. We'll be pretty hungry when we get there and tired, but that should be fine. We'll just go ahead and take a rest somewhere in the castle. And then we'll go uh, report to Sir Radzik. I mean, the best thing, you know, it's kind of good that we we got there during the cover of darkness. I think that worked out quite well. Uh, probably wouldn't have been able to do it unless some of those people had been asleep. No, we're not, not as tired and hungry as I thought we would be, so that worked out pretty good. Yeah, Sir Robart's pretty pissed off at us hungry. for leaving. Alright, let's go in here and grab a meal from the kitchen. If they even have anything cooked. She should. Let's see, we got a couple apples, some cheese, bread roll. Yeah, we'll take some of this. Couple pieces of cheese and uh, an apple or two. Go ahead and eat that real fast. There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and find us somewhere to sleep. I wonder if we can sleep in this little place right here. In this 
actual bed or if this is going to be considered private. No, I think we can sleep here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's sleep until... 8. That gives us 6 hours. That's not too bad. That should keep us, uh, or get us well rested for the trip over there to, uh, the other place. Mer Merihold. I guess. And then we'll, uh, we'll talk to Sir Radzik. And let him know about the camp. We ran around, went around most of it. I would have liked to have went up to the church to find out if uh, there was anything we could actually do there. But that we wasn't able to do. All right. Wait. We're actually stuck in here. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I guess we we'll have to lockpick our way out. Golly, if we didn't have a, a not a lockpick, that would really not be good, would it? Somebody's, uh, sneezing. Oh, this is a different place. Wait a minute, where's... Oh, okay. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's ride to... Here. Come on. That'll take us a little time, but faster than than I ride an actual horse. Come on, Elmer. Let's go. We got places to be. Quit dilly daddling. Good. All right, here we are back at camp. Let's see if we can find Sir Radzik. Jump over those bushes there, Elmer. You can do it. What about that one? Nope. You can't jump over that, can you? There's another combat area there. We might could learn something. I love how the horses can't go through the uh, the briars and stuff. I think that's kind of odd. Though. I mean, uh, I find it ironic. I don't think I've ever had a problem with a horse going through thickets. Maybe I just had horses that didn't mind doing that stuff. Let's eat from the pot. I wonder why it went black there. Uh, where is Sir Radzik? He must be in this tent. Sir Radzik, wake up! It's like freaking 9 o'clock in the morning. What are you doing? Well, what's troubling you? I'm back from scouting. I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? It's in some overgrown ruins. There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Pribislavitz. It used to belong to Sir Divish before Havel Maddock attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from writing some rabble out of the woods. I tried to count them. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. I saw at least and five. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defense. There's quite a few. There's quite a few of them there. Perdition. We'll definitely need reinforcements. I think the Talmberg men should suffice. I don't like leaving the castle unprotected, but there's no other option. There are bandits there. There are humans there. There are arms and armor. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are humans too. Quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund have left them there after he raised Scalitz? This is looking more and more serious. Their arms and armor. I took a look at their arms and armor. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? 
didn't notice any, but mm, I don't know. I don't know, sir. Well, that's a great pity. Not knowing could cost us dear. Uh, there are bandits there. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them, but underestimating the enemy can be fatal. I didn't find out anything else. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? I poisoned a food pot. I managed to slip poison to a few of them. They should be too sick to fight. You're as cunning as a fox. We need more like you. That's all, sir. Don't worry, Henry. You've proven yourself an excellent spy. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Talmberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell him to take all his men. Leave only the bare minimum at the castle and march to Pribislavitz. I'll take everyone but for one or two sentries. Hopefully together we'll have enough men to defeat them. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. God be with you. Understood, and I've made a what decent amount hell? of money. I, I did sabotage the bandits before the battle begins. Why is it... Maybe I was supposed to sabotage the arrows and the food? I, I don't know. I get I, quite confused, actually. Alright, so... That's about all the time we've got in this episode, so what we'll do is we'll come back here. Um, we'll come back here and we'll start from here. We'll actually probably start from Townburg and we'll uh, go ahead and talk to Sir Robard and get his men garrison or gathered, mustered, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I reckon we'll ride on down to the camp and see if we can take it over. So until then, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, hopefully it wasn't too hard to understand what was going on. Uh, I think I cut out most of the junk at the very beginning. Or it was just back and forth. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye bye.